Hello everyone. In this video, I will introduce how to install AD Summit on Windows machine. Starting from the latest version 0.5.3, AD Summit supports full features of Windows machine, which means you can have a GPU accelerate the kernel or use custom operators. Of course, you can cook up your own custom operators. So let's get started. The first step is to install Junior. You go to the official website and you will land in a page like this. And you just find the uh, corresponding uh, installer for your specific machine, which may be 22, uh, 32 bit or 64 bit. I already installed Junior on my Windows machine, so I will just skip this step. The next step is to install a com uh, compatible compiler. Because AD Semi uses uh, TensorFlow 1.15, uh, which is compiled against uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 15, uh, 2017 version. So you have to download the same uh, compiler so that you do not get uh, many dependency bugs uh, during the usage of custom operators. So you go to this website. You will land in a page like this, and then you can just uh, find the 2017 version and download it, install it. They have a free community version. So yeah, it's pretty direct that you download and uh, install. So I already installed uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 15 on my machine, so I will also skip this step. The next step is pretty uh, common, and it's just uh, the typical procedure of installing a package in Junior. You open the Junior prompt and tap using PKG and pkg.add adsme. This will take some time for the first time you install ADSME because it will download many dependencies, uh, but this is just a one-time cost. Okay, we already installed that. Let's see if it works using ADSME. For the first time you are using ADSME, it will pre-compile ADSME, and you may see some ownings, but that's okay. For the second time you use ADSME, there will be no ownings. Okay. So let's see if we can do something. Let's create a vector of a length 10. Let's create a session to inspect the value. Okay, let's run a size. Okay, let's do something different. Let's, let's consider compiling a custom operator on Windows machine. Here I download the, the exercise uh, file, which contains the code and data for the exercise. And the link to this file is uh, is under the video. So I unzip this exercise.zip, and I will get a directory like this. Let's go into this directory, go to 2D case. In 2D case, we will have a same make list, uh, which is used to uh, specify, uh, specify the rule to make these uh, source codes. So let's say, let's go into this directory. Because uh, in C, uh, uh, because in Windows, the backslash is used to delimit uh, the directories, but this is in, imprinted, uh, interpreted as uh, escape uh, character for junior, so we have to use a raw here. Okay, let's say inset. Yeah, you can see we have uh, uh, the source codes and and also semic list here. Okay, to run a CMake list, we have to uh, use CMake, and this is a built-in function in ADSME, and also ADSME provides uh, make, uh, which is uh, pretty handy at this point, because otherwise you have to figure out the dependencies and also figure out the correct, uh, cor cor correct uh, compilers. Okay, let's make a build directory. I think I already made one for you, so let's first to all of them. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's go into this build directory. Yeah, we will make the project and then this build directory. So before that, so let's look at uh, the same make list. This is a, just a typical same make list, but something that is special about the next same make list is that you have to add a definition, no mean max for the Windows machine. Otherwise, you will get some compiler error. And another thing is that when you use Visual Studio, 
whenever you make products like uh, static or dynamic libraries, it will create a debug or release directory and put the product there. So we want, uh, actually we want uh, to put the product into the same location as we have in a Mac or Linux. So we can just specify the runtime output directory to a specific location. Here I specify it to the build directory and the, this is the make current source directory, which is where the CMake list uh, is located. Okay, so let's do CMake. It will run as the same mechanism and generate some make files. Yeah, you can see that it figures out the correct same make list file for you or the correct compiler for you. Okay, the next step is you you make. You might see some onions here. Uh, you can definitely. Uh, Surprise those onions in the make list. Yeah, okay. Let's see how can we verify this, uh, the product. And here we have an example, which is which is a short script that uses this product, the hit equation product, which is hit equation dot dll here. And this is the product we make. Uh, from the source code, and this script is loading this shared library and use it as a custom operator in ADSME. And then this is a simulation for hit equation. Let's see if it works. Let's include example. Yeah, and uh, of course, do not uh, forget to install the dependencies like PyCall and the PyPlot. Yeah, I already installed this. Uh, these dependencies before the video, so you will see no error here. Yeah, that's it.